It's the last day of Russia's major economic conference, which has attracted business leaders who control over $5 trillion of industry. President Putin answered some of their questions on Friday afternoon. Cold wars are not triggered by local conflicts, but by global decisions, like the United States withdrawing from the anti-ballistic missile treaty. This is pushing all of us into a new arms race. We do not build our relations, including those with China, against anyone. These alliances are for, not against, and are built with our national interests in mind. Russia does not aspire to be a superpower. We do not impose our standards of action or development on anyone. We want equal rights for all members of the international community. Syria could end up like Libya or Iraq. Before Saddam Hussein was brought down, there were no terrorists in Iraq. So a lot of topics covered there, but the forum in St. Petersburg has also been the stage for multi-million dollar deals despite the tense relations between Russia and the West. Murat Gazdiev is RT's correspondent at the forum. In the lead up to uh, the St. Petersburg Economic Forum, there's a lot of doubt, a lot of pessimism about what might come of it, you know, with uh, sanctions hanging uh, heavy uh, over it, as well as attempts to isolate Russia. But those fears really proved baseless. There were academics, business leaders, CEOs, politicians representing more than half the countries uh, of the world here. And uh, we talked to a fair few of them. We all believe in this country. That we have been believing in this country since many, many years. I think this is a country that offers still great opportunities for the business. And we want to be here. We want to continue to be present in this country and to continue to do our work. Russia is the largest country of gas. gas. Uh, we are here, we are developing, continue to invest in a very large project, Yamal Energy, a new gas province. And so we'll, uh, it's a question of managing risks. As could be expected of any business gathering this size, there was plenty of wheeling and dealing, and I must say especially uh, dealing. There were billions and billions of dollars worth of new agreements signed here in St. Petersburg, new uh, gas pipelines, energy project stakes, cooperation agreements uh, and the likes. But uh, again, overshadowing it were political developments outside. A number of European states have begun seizing uh, Russian uh, government property in Europe. And this is in relation to the Yukos case, an energy company that was based in Russia uh, early on uh, last decade that was found guilty of massive tax evasion. And uh, Pre President Putin commented on those seizures. Our position is well known. In such cases, the Hague Arbitration Court only has jurisdiction over countries that have signed and ratified the European Energy Charter. Russia has not ratified the Charter, so we do not recognize the jurisdiction of the court, and we will prove this through established legal means. We will defend our interests. Greek Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras was also there and spoke to the assembled delegates with some harsh words for Europe. He said the world's financial center has shifted, which Europe needs to recognize and adapt to. The PM also condemned the cycle of sanctions against Russia, blaming it partly on the crisis in Ukraine. Top Greek officials at the forum have been sharing their thoughts on future cooperation between Moscow and Athens too. I think there is a lot of potential in a number of sectors. And uh, as soon as uh, problems that exist at this point between EU and Russia are overcome, I think then the potential will be fully developed. Our delegation, both the political and the business delegation, uh, was very successful here. And I think uh, it's a new beginning for the economic relations between Russia and Greece. You can get fully briefed on the past few days at the St. Petersburg Forum with our in-depth coverage from the event at RT.com.